In the quaint coastal town of Lyme Regis, where the roar of the English Channel met the quiet whispers of cliffs and coves, lived a young woman named Mary Anning. Born in 1799, she was a curious soul from the beginning, exploring the rugged beaches with a keen eye for the unusual rocks and impressions embedded in them. Her fascination with the world beneath her feet was infectious, though not entirely understood by the townspeople or even her own family. Mary spent her childhood collecting what she called curies, the fossilized remnants of ancient creatures, washed ashore by the relentless tides. Her first significant discovery came at the age of 12 when, alongside her brother Joseph, she unearthed a complete ichthyosaurus skeleton. This spectacular find was only the beginning of her career as a pioneering paleontologist. Despite her limited formal education and the societal expectations placed upon women of her era, Mary's astute observations and meticulous documentation drew interest from the scientific community. Yet, being a woman in early 19th century England, a time and place that systematically undervalued female contributions, meant that much of her work was credited to male colleagues. Over the years, Mary discovered a plethora of fossils, including the first complete plesiosaurus, a creature so bizarre in its anatomy that it was initially claimed to be fabricated. Her contributions to the burgeoning field of paleontology provided key evidence supporting the then-controversial idea of extinction, challenging the prevailing beliefs of her time. Mary's work resonated throughout the scientific community in England and beyond, although she remained on the peripheries of recognition during her lifetime. Her findings enriched collections in prestigious institutions and were instrumental in shaping early paleontological thoughts, yet her name was often absent from the formal accolades. Despite her barriers, Mary Anning's legacy persists. Today, she is celebrated as a pioneer who forged a path for women in science and elevated fossil collecting from a hobby to a scientific pursuit. Her life's work has inspired generations of scientists and continues to educate and captivate the curious minds of today. The story of Mary Anning reminds us of the forgotten figures who have throughout history push the boundaries of our understanding. It challenges us to question how many other stories remain buried, waiting to be uncovered and acknowledged. In honoring her contributions now, we not only rewrite history to include the voices often silenced, but also pave the way for more inclusive future discoveries. Reflecting on her journey, one might wonder if her contributions have truly been recognized to their full extent. As the echoes of her past reverberate through time, Mary Anning's legacy remains a testament to perseverance, brilliance, and the relentless pursuit of knowledge.